Welcome back, super stands, to D and J React, where music sparks conversation every day. In today's conversation, it's K-pop idols you didn't know were Filipino. All right. But you're about to learn today, and so are we. Mm -hmm. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in. Learn a little something. Undeniable that K-pop is one of the biggest music industries in the world today, which is why it's only expected that aspiring idols around the world would cross oceans just to make their dream a reality. As a result, entertainment companies began to scout talent across the globe. And in this video, we have a few K-pop idols that are actually Filipino. Are you excited to meet them? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Krisha Chu Filipino-American K-pop singer Krisha Chu rose to fame following her appearance on the Korean reality program K-pop Star 6. Krisha attracted a lot of attention throughout the performance with her angelic appearance, flawless voice, and amazing dancing abilities. As a result, K-pop fans worldwide were particularly drawn to her, especially those in the Philippines. The bilingual vocalist caught the attention of Korean fans as well, since she could speak Korean fluently. Regretfully, Krisha was removed from the seventh show despite her charm and talent. What? However, she was welcomed back into the competition as a wild card contestant and finished as a runner up because of the adoration uh, of her expanding fan base. What an up and down. Following yeah, right? the competition, like Krisha signed with Urban Works Entertainment and made her formal debut as the first Filipina K pop idol in 2017 with the release of her single album, Krisha Chu, first single album, which included the tracks Trouble and I Want You. Her W mini album, Dream of Paradise, was released in 2018 and helped her make a reputation for herself in the music industry and in the K pop scene in general. In addition to marking her comeback after an eight month hiatus, the album saw her collaborate with other K pop singers such as Pentagon Hui and her closest friend and former label mate, Minju from Icon. As a result, it became rather successful and more fans were able to notice her. However, the more she became big in the industry, the more car. people started to criticize her, which affected her mentally. Regretfully, Urban Works revealed that Krisha had stress-induced lymphedema in the midst of recording her album in 2020. This came to light after suspicions about the idol having cosmetic surgery started to circulate after the fans saw her that her face was bloated. Since then, Krisha had made progressively fewer appearances on stage, but she's reportedly making a comeback soon. Tem5 Tem5 is an all-Filipino female group made up of five members. While they're not native Koreans, the group instantly captured the hearts of many because of their amazing performances. Sarah, the leader of the crew, is a native of Quezon City, while Reina, another team member, attended Galeo de Santa Teresa de Avila School in the same city. Robbie and Jaira are from Taguig and Pasig City, respectively, making them a very interesting group composed of full-blooded Filipinos who want to make it big in the K-pop scene. Not to mention how their group's name holds a very special meaning. Going into details, the name Tem5 actually means touching people's hearts emotionally and mentally, and they made their debut in November 2016 with their music video for Miracle. Since then, they've actively participated in events and fan meetups around Korea in order to establish a larger audience. They also took part in the 2017 Korean Celebrity Basketball League, where they met renowned producer Park Jin Young. However, they have been on hiatus since then and never promoted or released any music. Harleen Z Girls is a K pop group that made its debut in February 2019 alongside its sibling group Z Boys. The group's goal was to create a worldwide K pop phenomenon with members from several <laughs> Asian nations. I know it's a little off topic, but we just uh, reacted to um, someone from the Philippines on our Patreon, one of our um, Patreons won, mm -hmm. and it was like Bohol Philippines. And I, I looked up the island. Bro, oh, Joseph, the, Joseph Gara. Joseph Gara, yeah. Sassy yeah. girl, sassy fan girl on yeah. our Patreon. She won the raffle. We did mm -hmm. Joseph Gara. And then she said he was from Bohol Philippines. And I looked up Bohol Philippines and bro, it is like the tiniest little mm -hmm. island, bro. It looks like a private island with like scattered homes everywhere yeah. all on the island. It looks like you could literally run across the whole entire yeah. island within like yeah, one or two small. minutes. It's insane, man. I was just, and, but the water around it's it is like crystal clear, beautiful. Yeah. But then it just drops off to an abyss. Yeah, it's like hundreds <laughs> of feet drop yeah, off. It's kind of scary, crazy. actually. But um, what was I, gonna, I didn't realize how small some of these islands were. Like they were like, oh, there's 7,000 islands. I'm thinking like big pieces of land and like they're no, like they're small, they're tiny, tiny little, little things everywhere. Yeah. So cool. 
This is why the group is composed of members from around the globe. For instance, Priyanka is from India, while another member, Belle, is from Thailand. There's also Vanya, who is from Indonesia, and Queen, who is from Vietnam. Parlene is the only Filipino member, and wow, Surf is a mix. group's leader. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right? Carlene made her debut with her group with her first single, What You Waiting For. However, while the group is still active, Carlene unexpectedly announced her resignation from the group in June 2021 after discovering she was pregnant. Oh, well, the senior supporters have been yeah, thrilled a, to hear of her she, The song was about what are you waiting for? I guess the guy didn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I don't know what it's like for, like, over in uh, Korea. I know you can't, like, date and stuff. So is it the same over there in the Philippines, like for the entertainment company? I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, maybe rules. you guys, maybe you guys know. Can you date in the Philippines, like if you're in a certain label, or is it is it like the same standards as Korean? You know? Yeah, because in standards. Yeah, we're in Korea. They're really strict with like the dating thing. Like we saw some where they had like ten year contracts that you can't date or anything for ten years. That's messed up, dude. But like, it does mess up the flow of everything because you right. notice when like someone gets a girlfriend or a boyfriend, their attention is automatically yeah. distracted. Yeah. And then if they're getting in like little bickering fights, they're not focused on the business anymore. Correct. It's happened to me. It's mm -hmm. happened to my friends. Right. I know first or what happens. Or a situation like this, they get pregnant and now they have to leave the band and it just screws up the whole flow of everything that's going yeah. on. So yeah, I mean. I completely understand uh, why they have those contracts in place because relationships ruin business like yes. a lot. So that's Correct. kind of sketchy. Pregnancy many have voiced concerns about the band's future during that time. According to reports, Carlene will probably leave Z Girls while the group continues to promote without her. But since Carlene revealed her pregnancy and stated her wish to remain in the Philippines, fans predicted the group won't last much longer. Only time will tell, but we wish them all the luck. Belle. Belle, also known by her real name Hyun Jun Jin, is another Korean Filipino who was brave enough to take the challenge and make it big in the very competitive world of K-pop. Based on the information, her mother is Filipino and her father is Korean. She was born on November 3, 2001, and is a member of J9 Entertainment's K-pop girl group Signature. But before joining the group, Belle rose to prominence in 2017 as a member of the girl group Good Day, and she then participated on KBS 2TV's reality survival show The Unit. After that, she was later revealed to be a member of C9 Entertainment's girl group Signature, which is currently managed by J9 Entertainment subsidiary. Recently, the group made their comeback with a much more refreshing image for their latest song, Smooth Sailing. Wei Yan Up next is Wei Yan, who is the former leader of the K-pop group O21. She was born in the Philippines on June 25, 1993 to a Filipino mother and a Chinese father. She goes by her real name, Xiao Wei Yan. O21 is a six-member group that debuted on June 20, 2016 under FNC China. They only released one track, Show Me, before breaking up in 2017. Wow, that was short. Many of its participants went on to participate and produce 101 in China and are currently promoting themselves as individual artists. Chandy. That usually doesn't work out very well. I think well. we can all agree that Chandy is one of the most famous Filipino K-pop stars today. This was after she made headlines because of her breathtaking visuals and Bro, stage her hair presence. Is so dark. No, Chanta oh Videla, commonly referred to as Shanti, is a 20-year-old K-pop musician who was born to a Filipina mother and an Argentine father. Wow. She grew up in Argentina but relocated to the Philippines to study acting before settling in South Korea to train to become a K-pop idol. She then made her formal debut in 2022 as part of the group La Pillas and the rest is history. But wait, there is more because aside from being pretty and talented, she's also fluent in five languages. Wow. English, <laughs> Filipino, Spanish, Korean, and basic Japanese. Wow, that's Before impressive. her K-pop debut, she was a member of the Star Magic Circle's 2018 badge with Donny Pandalina and has been in films such as Starla, Hiwagan and Korean Bat. We tried for a short time, remember, trying to do Korean? That was, Dude, that was so hard. hard, man. You know what I think it is? Like... It's hard to do it by yourself. I, I think, like, if I'm going over to the Philippines or Thailand, like, if I'm going to learn a language, I'm just going to go to a school. Like, yeah, I'm going to be around people who are learning the language I can practice with. Because just, like, saying words over and over again on an app does not work. work and no. it doesn't fully translate to um, conversations with no. people from those countries. So I think being there, immerse yourself in the culture, being around the people, hearing how <clears> they speak, <throat> and then having them maybe, like, if you meet somebody... 
kind of communicate, like if I want to say laptop, how do I say that in their language? And it makes sense because now I see the item and now I know the word and I can connect the two together. My friend, uh, he's from Iraq and a uh, super cool guy, but he, he didn't know any Spanish and he was going to go over to, I think, uh, Colombia or Spain. And so he went to a school and like I, well, I didn't see him for like three, four months and he came back and he could speak like 60% fluent, yeah. fluent Spanish. And I was like, oh damn, like, so going to the school, he's like, going to the school is much better. He's like, doing yeah. it on the app is so hard. He's right. like, I learned so much faster when I'm around people and a teacher. To, sure. It's all constructive. It's always better that well. way when somebody can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Amelia Blondina and Spirits Reawaken. This is also one of the reasons why she gains so much attention since fans notice that she is a natural when it comes to dealing with their audience and projecting herself in front of the camera. Josh. Josh is the lead vocalist and dancer for Z-Boys, an international project boy band signed to Div Don Entertainment, which we mentioned earlier in the video. He was born and raised in Kuwait and holds a Bachelor of Science in Travel Management from the University of Santo Tomas. But Josh wants to fulfill his dream of becoming a singer and performer. In case you don't know, Josh used to be a part of the most well-known and esteemed dance team in the Philippines, G-Force. So it's only expected that he will aim for a much bigger stage. So he made the choice and trained to be part of a worldwide K-pop phenomenon, making his debut with Z-Boys. Yoon Dong Yeon. Coming up next, Filipino-Korean musician Yoon Dong Yeon made public as a member of the new boy band POW. He initially participated in the SBS survival show Loud under JYP Entertainment, but he was eliminated in the seventh round. Born in 2003 to a South Korean father and a Filipino mother from Negros Occidental, he has created history as the first half-Filipino and half-Korean male musician to try out for the K-pop reality program. And while he didn't make it to the finals, he was still signed by JYP Entertainment and is expected to make his debut soon. Doc 2 Last but not the least, Doc 2, whose actual name is Lee Jun Kyung, is a producer and rapper from Korea who co-owned Illionaire Records with A Quiet. And in case you're not aware, he is one of the most popular rappers in South Korea at the moment. The rapper was born to a Korean mother and a Spanish-Filipino father. In the past, he has disclosed that Nicole Scherzinger, the lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls, is his cousin. Are you surprised? Well, do you have other Filipino K-pop idols to add to the list? Don't hesitate to comment down below and see you on the next video. That's really cool. That last guy was... Uh family of uh, yeah. cat dolls that's dude, that he's, got, he's got an end right there yeah if he's hooked up you're lucky dude, if you have an end like that yep you kind of notice though in in the in the industry like you're like how do these people get famous and they always have like some type it's of family network. friend that is mm -hmm. like either knows someone in the business or is someone in the business it's always about networking who you know yeah you know, that definitely I don't, helps i don't think uh, sb19 though really knew i think they started from literally scratch probably yeah because they don't uh, think they had like any in by any one person because they were dancing in the mall remember that? i remember that yeah like they didn't, and they barely had a crowd when they first started so yeah, i think it was like a couple like, of ladies like three or four ladies were standing around it was like the table. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, they, they had like a super raw organic mm -hmm. growth. So it's very impressive what SB19 oh, has yeah, done. Definitely. I know that the, it has nothing to do with this. It's not really, they right. weren't in here, but good stuff, guys. If you have more videos like this, please go over to our Patreon, drop them in our community chat. Um, the, by the way, once you guys sign up on Patreon, the only way to get to the community chat is to download the app. We forgot to tell you guys that. And people have been hitting us up in the comments like, where's yeah. the community chat? Please download the app and you can get to the community chat and drop all your song requests over there and we'll add them to our list. Uh, with that being said, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.